All right, guys, we're back here with Marvel Future Fight. So, what is happening is that they oh my freaking god, this this Thor Buster, which is really really cool. I mean, I I don't use the Hulk Buster at all, but you know, he is a really really cool character. Uh, really cool design. I mean, the coolest design I've seen in a very, very long time. And I do mean a very, very long time. So, anyways. Um, just about the character. I looked at it already. And I gotta say that he's mostly for helping Iron Man. I mean, he's there and stuff. But most of his stuff is for Iron Man and Techno Allies. Which I don't like, right? I don't use any Techno Allies. And I don't have Iron Man upgrade. I mean, yeah, he's in tier 3. But, you know. I don't have him upgraded, basically. So you have the Invincible Iron Man. War Machine version, I guess, to, so to speak. Um, I am not a big fan of War Machine 2. I don't even know what level he's at or where he's at or whatever, right? But, you know, there's War Machine. And I'm assuming he's a... Attacker, because you see these applies to self, right? Increases critical damage by 50%. Uh, let's go down here and check out the leader. It increases blast allies attack by 40%. So I guess that's for Iron Man as well. And you have this techno ally thing here, right? And it increases HP. I don't understand why there's so many increases in HP. But this thing increases... Damage to super villain by 40% and that doesn't have anything else. So, you know, it's really for like techno allies or I don't really like that because I don't even I don't use much techno allies, but this is a support character, right? So you got rescue here. This is the invincible Iron Man sub rescue, right? And she's a supports character so uniform bonus applies to all allies so that's kind of good. I might use her for the Hulk because it increases his HP. And I need an HP increase so I can do more damage. Alright, so I got 25% HP increase and recovery rate by 25%. Now, this is the interesting thing. It creates a shield equal to 50% of max HP, right? When your HP is below 99%. So I don't know if you're, you're constantly alive or something. Alright, anyways. Let's go back to where we were. So we were looking at leader. So it doesn't even... It doesn't increase your damage or anything. So that's kind of bad. But it does have the shield. So it's really up to you. And you got whatever. I don't think she's an S tier... Uh, Support because I don't know. I don't it's just don't feel like she does anything or the HP does anything. So this is Iron Man and When I saw it, I couldn't believe it. I was like what the hell is this thing? It looks ugly. It's not red. It's not gold. It's not whatever the maximum 15 all right So this one what's added compared to the last one is ignored ta target dodge rate, right? So this is it the last one. This is the Whatever. So, that's the only thing that's been added. But yeah, I don't like the look of it. I mean, some people might think it's cool with the black and gray and green. It might look slick to them. The leadership does not change. But this is a... Uh, Iron Man is a S tier leader attacker. He... Well, not leader attacker. He's an attacker. Right? So, um, I haven't looked at... The difference but you know if he's a nest tier obviously he's gonna be good but you do need the uh, the support is this the same thing man okay, okay let, let me look at this critical rate by 20 critical rate dodge rate and 20% in, in energy attack Critical dodge energy. It's the same thing. Alright, so there's nothing that changed here, but it says that 
Well, I guess how the move works change? I don't know. I mean, this is a passive. Uh, so, and it's all 20%. So it's easier for me to remember. I mean, obviously, if it's up something else, it's probably harder. 50, 33, 42. 50, 33, 42. So, basically, nothing has changed for the passive. But, you know, it's still increased. I guess the attack changed. I'm not going to look at the attack. Right, it has basically everything. Probably the only thing that's missing is uh, additional. What do you call it? Additional pierce damage. All right, you know what? Let's look at the attack. Nah, nah, let's not. I'll look at it in individual video, but I, <laughs> I gotta look at the attack for uh, for Hulkbuster. Damn, he is huge, and he kind of looks a bit different right i don't know maybe it's a red he's just jai mumble all right so that's pretty cool i mean damn i had it on my phone on silent mode and i didn't even notice So, you know, it's super cool, but I do question the usability of the character. I mean, I'll just put it there, but I haven't leveled them up at all, so I'm not going to be... I Actually, I will buy the suit just because it's cool, but, you know, and of course, you got to get Iron Man's suit. I mean, you know, Iron Man's always there, and of course, I think I'm going to get Rescue because she's a support character, even though not the perfect support character, but still a support now, as for War Machine, I don't know. I mean, I never liked him as a character, right? And I never gotten his other suits, not at least not to a certain point. I mean, I stopped, right, after Civil War. So, anyways, I am not going to get War Machine at all. I mean, but the other three, one of them is cool, the other one's a support, and the other one's a really good attacker. Iron Man.